Hi, Danny here from Jason Gould's Inspectors. So you want to be a paranormal investigator, huh? episode 21, all right. <laughs> I have got asked um, many, many times uh, since I started doing this episode series about how do you protect your home? How do you bless your home? How do you uh, make sure nothing dark comes in your home? Stuff like that. So. This little cinema is going to be a bit different because it's going to be lots of talking. So, bear with me. I'm going to explain to you uh, what I do. And um, uh, I also do it for clients and stuff when, when they really need it done and things like that. So, I'll give you a simple, simple thing. First, you got to have either holy water or blessed water handy. Uh, the next thing you want to do is get four things for protection. Okay. Now, they can be crosses, or they could be crucifixes with the cross with Jesus on. Um, they could be Saint Michael medallions. They can be gemstones, rocks, uh, but four things that are protection for you. Uh, amethyst is one. Um, tiger's eye. Hematite, jade, um, jasper, green jasper, um, bloodstone is really good, uh, Apache tears, uh, rattlesnake rock, which is a blue rock with black lines in it, it's called rattlesnake, I don't know what it's called there, uh, but we call it rattlesnake, um, but it's a turquoise colored rock and it's got black lines in it. Um, I heard it called Apache Stone once, I can't remember, but anyway, so you want to get four things of the same that are you, you protection, that you feel protected by, so whether it's a cross or, or gemstone or it could be anything, because it's your, uh, your place, right, so, um, and then you need a healing tree okay now a cedar is really good birch bark is really good uh, willow is really good um, fern is good um, pine is good any kind of pine jack pine spruce pine the bark of it is what you're after for that um, maple's good. And I'm sure there's other ones. Anyway, uh, and the reason is because you have to combine it, you see. So, for my place, uh, I used amethyst because amethyst is created by the heavens and mother earth right that's a very good protection stone so i use amethyst um, for my shield now basically what you're going to do is you're going to bury these things in each corner of your property okay or each corner of your house just outside your house I and mean, if you're living in an apartment you want to put it in the farthest of four corners in your apartment okay that's what you're doing okay so what I did was I take the amethyst I put it in the blessed water and I say dear spirits please take any impurities out of this and allow it to be my protection to form my shield and my bubble over my property my home my apartment right. so what that's gonna do it's gonna put a shield that the spirits are going to realize it's there because this is a spiritual thing so they're going to say oh look at there's a shield there right and while you're doing this you say only good may pass through nothing dark can come through right then you're going to take uh, I use cedar okay because cedar is a healing energy uh, you can use whatever you want as long as it's a healing energy well I took cedar so what you do is 
soak your cedar and you soak your, your stone. So in my case, um, I used amethyst, so I soaked my amethyst, and I soaked my cedar for a couple of hours in uh, blessed water, okay? Then you take out one stone and one piece of cedar. And you wrap it around your stone and then you tie it, okay? So you bind it with um, thread or twine or whatever. And that's one, right? Then you say your prayer uh, for this to be a blessing uh, to protect your house and to heal any rips. So anyway, so you do that four times. So you got your four stones or your four uh, St. Michael medallions or your four crosses or whatever you're using. Anyway, once that's done, um, the reason you use the, the healing plant is because what happens in the spirit world is sometimes they get doors opening up and little tears in the fabric between this reality and that reality. So the veil gets weak in between where they are, where I am. So then dark ones can slip through there, or light ones can slip through. It's a doorway. So the first thing you're doing is you're putting the, if you picture it, the uh, protection is putting the shield over your place and then the healing whatever it is whether it's uh, uh, pine or cedar or birch bark or anything like that uh, willow branch wrapped around no matter what it is that's your healing okay so the reason you're using that is so that it will heal any portals that are open it will heal any doors that are open so anything that's been opened uh, or any dark energy in your place that's been there it will heal that it'll get rid of it right and then it closes the door so it'll push out all the dark stuff past the shield and then it'll be just inside your shield and it'll heal all the all the openings so nothing can get into your house all right and in any sense what you're doing is you're making your property holy ground okay the the idea of it and what you're actually doing is making your place holy ground, okay? Uh, which, with your prayers, you know, you can say whatever prayers you want. Uh, if you want, you know, let me know and I'll, I'll tell you what prayers I do later. Uh, or you can say your own prayers, you know, whatever. Uh, but you pray for protection, for cleansing your ingredients. You pray for that first. Then you pray for your protection of your protecting stuff and you pray for your healing stuff. And then you bind it all together and you pray that this land or this apartment or this house is now holy ground. Only good spirits are allowed here. Uh, nothing negative is allowed to enter my home. And boom, that's it. Okay. Uh, now for me, <clears throat> for me, this has worked perfect, perfectly, 100%. Uh, I have no doubts about it. it works beautifully. Uh, my house is holy ground. It's been holy ground for years and years and years. And and once it's done, it's done, right? So, <laughs> so even if some animal digs it up and takes it off, it doesn't matter. Once it's done, it's spiritually done, and it stays holy. So, so that's good news. You know, you don't have to do it once. Um, and yeah. So anyway, like I said, for me, this is has always worked good. Uh, for any of my clients where I've had to cleanse their house and protect their house, it's always worked good. Never had issues with it. Um, but anyway, that's how I would do it, okay? And feel free to, to use this and to protect yourself, protect your apartment, protect your house, protect your property. Uh, you know, keep in mind what you're doing as you're doing it, you know, for each piece that you're talking about. And then picture... Uh, you got to also picture what you're doing. So when you're saying, uh, I put this here to put a shield over my house and to heal anything, picture just for a second the shield going over your house and, there, and doors are being closed. And you do that for every stone or every item. And voila, that's it. Okay? So, yeah. So now, remember. Take care of yourselves, take care of your family, watch out for coats, and have a great day. Bye.